China's New Smart Trains A city in China has launched a test run for a futuristic urban transport system that's being called the world's first smart train. Described as a cross between a train, tram and bus, the autonomous rail rapid transit is a 32-meter electric vehicle that runs at a maximum speed of 70 kilometers per hour. The ART is equipped with sensors to help it read road dimensions as it travels along a virtual track made up of dotted white lines painted on the road. The smart train has three carriages and is capable of carrying up to 300 passengers. The self-driving system uses rubber tires instead of steel wheels and it can travel up to 25 kilometers after a 10-minute charge. At the moment, the train traverses a 3.1-kilometer route, traveling through four stations in the city of Zhuzhou in the country's Hunan province. A longer route is being planned, with the transport system aiming to eventually expand to other cities. Here's the future of public transportation. Dubai to introduce flying drone taxis this summer. Need to go to work, but don't feel like waiting in rush hour? Dubai is set to go all Jetsons this summer by offering flying drone taxis. The Dubai Roads and Transport Authority has announced it will start operating drone taxis in July along predetermined routes. They will be using the Ehang 184 Autonomous Quad Opener Electric Drone to shuttle people around the city via air. The Ehang 184 drone can carry one passenger with a maximum weight of 220 pounds. The drone can fly 31 miles on one charge at a top speed of 100 miles per hour, although officials said their drones will operate at 62 miles per hour. Passengers will board the drone, buckle into a harness, and select a destination on the touchscreen before taking off. The Ehang drones will be monitored through a central command center on the ground. This six-rotor personal drone would be an awesome way to get around. Ever since the Jetsons, who hasn't dreamed of owning a flying car? That day, an electrical vertical takeoff and landing vehicle can replace the gas guzzler in the driveway. But what if you just want a zipper on the neighborhood? Well, then the Solexa is the whip for you. The Solexa is designed for shorter flights of about 20 minutes. Imagine skipping over traffic on your way to work. Or you and a friend can explore the countryside in a Solexa, which is way cooler than taking an ATV. Its designers also think the police might find the Solexa useful. Cops riding a Solexa could quickly respond to a crime scene and then report back to a command center. Navigation would be automated. Punch in coffee shop and the Solexa is programmed to take you there. The Solexa has a 200 pound payload, a 30 meter height ceiling, and a maximum flying time of about 20 minutes. At this point, the concept is just a concept, much like flying cars that fold into a briefcase. Car journeys are gonna be so much fun in the future. Tech giant Panasonic has unveiled its futuristic vision for an autonomous car cabin. The Panasonic Autonomous Car Cabin has four seats that can face each other, arranged around a centerpiece interactive digital display system. Each seat has an individual display screen table that allows passengers to map the journey, play games, or read information. The four screens can also combine into a single table with a bigger screen. The interior trim of the cabin is made of plastic smart materials that display information and can change to look like wood, metal, or leather. Augmented reality windows can display information about the car's surroundings, such as landmarks and points of interest. Meanwhile, each seat has a personal audio zone with speakers integrated into the headrests. Facial recognition technology identifies the driver and will only permit registered drivers to take control of the vehicle. Should the driver choose to take the wheel, an eight-camera system feeds into an augmented reality display in the windshield to aid navigation. Panasonic's design was revealed at tech trade show CES 2017 in Las Vegas. According to the company, the plans are still a work in progress. But Panasonic hopes the concept will give people an idea of what the autonomous car of the future might look like. Tilting three-wheeled vehicle concept brings superbike style to the car. 
A Florida inventor has designed a three-wheeled vehicle that can tilt 52 degrees while cornering. The narrow tilting vehicle with non-tilting wheels is a reverse trike-style vehicle with two wheels at the front. The vehicle would use flat car tires rather than rounded motorcycle tires as they do not tilt relative to the road. The cabin is managed by hydraulic actuators that create a cradle mechanism which allows the cabin to tilt when the angle of the road surface changes or a cornering g-force is being applied. The designer says the cabin can tilt up to 52 degrees, creating a flying sensation without using one's own body as a counterbalance. The designer of the vehicle is currently looking for partners to produce a prototype. British trains are getting a tech upgrade. One of Britain's biggest rail watchdogs has laid out plans for the future of train travel, opting for more tech to make commuting easy and fuss-free. Ticketing options for the UK rail system are currently limited to paper tickets and credit cards, but that could change in the near future. Passengers may soon be able to open ticket gates using an app and Bluetooth signals on their smartphones. The lack of physical contact with the gate helps reduce delays and gets more people through during busier times. Eventually, the smartphone option could be replaced by biometrics, with fingerprint and iris scans identifying passengers and charging tickets directly to their travel accounts. New seat designs are also in the works for train carriages. One type provides staggered seating for more shoulder space and allows 20 to 30 percent more seats per carriage. Another design has traditional seating that can be converted into an alternative configuration at peak times, with tables that unfold into seats for added capacity. The UK rail system will also develop self-regulating trains that can communicate with each other in order to avoid conflicts at junctions. Doing so allows more frequent services and fewer delays. The new plans were unveiled at the Rail Delivery Group's annual conference in Birmingham, with plans for some of the upgrades already underway. Trials for smartphone ticketing will begin this year, and new seat designs could be built into existing trains within a year. £450 million pounds has also been invested to test the new signaling technology for the intelligent trains. This electric bus recharges on the go and has no driver. This concept driverless bus was designed in part by Canadian engineer Charles Bombardier and may one day help Canadians get from point A to B just like normal coaches. The driverless bus, named Toboxy, uses silent electric motors. This would be powered by batteries that get energy from power transfer switches fixed to the road. Passengers would be able to order one from their phone or hail a passing Toboxy after first registering with their details and photo. This helps the vehicle recognize their face. The bus then computes the best route for the passenger's destination, factoring in other options from the local transportation network. The vehicle can ferry a maximum of a dozen passengers, including two wheelchairs. It has angled walls so people can half sit or lean during their journey. The sleek-looking design was designed by Ashish Tolkar. Nicholas Latandra, who is also working on a new electric bus design at latanda.com, also played a part in developing the Toboxy concept.